Hello and welcome to my first Minecraft tutorial. Today I will be showing you how to build a train station booster and track switcher. Track switcher will fail and I will. First, you start out by a 4x2 hole 1D. Just like this. And then, on two side, on one side, give one on each corner, only on one side, like this. Alright. Now, I'm going to build the main track, your traveling track, which is this track. See it dips down on the side without the holes. Now I'm going to build the booster track. There it is. Now I'm going to show you how it works. You put a train track in the little notch, just like this, and that will boost your track, and I'll show you that now. See, it grabs onto this one, this one starts pushing it, they push against each other, and it boosts the traveling car. Let's just, just put this back, like that, and now I'm going to show you how to make it loop on itself so it just keeps going, keeps going, keeps going, so you can later haul the cart for yourself and it just comes to you and you can grab, get in it and you can take it wherever you set it to go. Get these out of here so I can create the stopper on this side. This part's very important. It will not work without the stopper. You need to take off this track and then put one more on top. And there you go, you have the stopper. So it will come back and then go this it will go down this track and then come back around itself and then go down this track. And now I'm going to build a loop that will make it repeat on itself. So you can call it later. See, it's a three by three square. It loops on itself, so the train cart can just keep going and going and going until you can call it, which I'll show you now. See, it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. This this booster works with that. update beta one point three zero one. I do not think it's the only one that works, but it's one of the ones that. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to make a track switcher. Well, heck eh, yeah. <laughs> okay, the track switcher. Um, well, how it works is you need to put a redstone torch underneath the block which the track you want to switch is on. Which won't work because you, it's made of sand. Alright, so I'm going to make this cobblestone so I can dig underneath it without it falling down. Alright, so see what you now that is the thing underneath the block underneath this track, which is the one I want to switch. Okay, and the thing with this, it will not work if you just have it leading onto the redstone torch. It has to be a block underneath it, next to it, like that. 
You can't just have it like right there and then put another one. You can't just have one right right there and have another one in the stone leave there. Alright, so we're gonna put this redstone torch right here and have a trail leading to our pressure paint which we'll replace later. Don't mind, don't mind that one, I built that before. Alright, so now we're building a the main track which we need to which is the one that will it will switch on to when we decide to follow the cart. And that should be enough. Alright, let's now put the plate. Oh, it's not working. Yeah, I'm gonna have to figure this out, but this should work. I do not know why it's not. It might be a bug in the system, but let me just figure this out for a second. I mean, I shouldn't even be doing this. One of the errors is that it. Oh look, there, there it's switched, but it's. Defaulting is that that, sh that shouldn't happen, so we're going to try uh, leading a trail to it while the redstone is, or the redstone torch is there. Don't, no, uh, that didn't work. Believe me, I've done this before, but for some reason this isn't working. I might have to. No, it's defaulting on. Okay, we're going to try putting an inverter. This was discontinued, but we'll try it anyways. All right, that didn't work. Something's going on. Maybe if I remove one of these. Okay, let's try it now. No, it's still defaulting on the wrong setting. I need it to switch to this track while I'm pressing on it, not while I'm off of it. So that's the problem. If if it's not like that, it's just gonna keep just go down there instead of going in a loop. You won't be able to call it because it's not there. Okay, let me just figure this out. I'm going to have to pause it and come back. Alright, we are back and I have... I wasn't able to figure that one out, but as you can see I have figured it out on a different one. As you can see it switches. You see it switches like that, so you're able to call it, which I will demonstrate now. Alright, so I'm going to put the... Dang it, I fell off. Alright, I'm going to put this right there. It's going to continue in the loop. Oh, crap. Problem. Crap, I fell in the hole again. Oh. Okay, let's go... Just... Damn it! Okay. Let's, um... Fix this. Problem is, I had this on the wrong side. So let's push that back into place, get out of the way so it can continue its little thing. And now, time to get on the cart. As you can see, it goes at tremendous speed. Oh crap, there's a cart on here. That's my old cart. It's gonna slow me down and send me the other way. So, but I'm out of time. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope it helped. And if it didn't, leave a comment. Alright.